Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Michael Palmazano here. Uh, hope you had a great Memorial Day weekend. Uh, I just went for a run. Figured I'd squeeze one in here. You know how it goes. Tiny windows, right? Back on Guitargate. Huge influx of people uh, signed up over the weekend uh, because of the new Grateful Dead Rhythm Section Workshop course. Thank you all. Uh, so, tons of people on here requesting stuff that I haven't seen before. Bunch of new names. They're going to click this one. It says, Must Review This Young Man. He's going to be famous by Timothy Johnson. It says, Incredible lyric singing and most importantly, guitar playing. This is Quinn Sullivan. She's gone and she ain't coming back. Live at Daryl's House Club. Love it. Timothy Johnson, thanks for requesting. Thanks for being a lifetime member. Um, and uh, let's hit the button. Ice cold. Quinn Sullivan. Playing a silver sky. When you sound great. Uh, let's get a little bit of what's going on here for all you guitar players out here. Um, yes, if you guys if you guys are new here, we do start and stop. We do kind of show what's going on. Now, what I'm getting first here is a little piece of F major. What you're getting is the root F, and then you're doing a big spread. You're getting the third on the second string, right? So you got F and A like that up to G major. Keep going up in key. Now we got to make a little switch here. It's A and C to make a minor third. Okay? So, what key are we in? If we have F major and G major and A minor, we are in the key of C. Because remember, there's only two spots, well, there's only one spot where you have a major chord a whole step apart. And that's your four chord and your five chord. So, if F is four, five. If 5 is G, then 1 must be C, A is 6, and that's kind of that's kind of how it goes. And if you notice, what happens here at the beginning, it goes F, G, A minor, C up like this. So C major with an E on top, right? So C with a major third. So 4, 5, 6, 1, and the second time, 4. Six, let it linger, right? Let's keep going. I don't know how I got this all turned around. Let's go. And then when he starts singing, it goes into the verse there. Same chord progression, just bigger chord. So instead of doing that cool spread, which sounds so good with single coils, you're doing it down here. F, G, A minor. Flour flourishes you want. She's gone, she's gone. Love, love that hi hat. Saving that snare. Baby, I've put it all through the grapevine. I'm telling you, that sparse snare is is totally making this groove. It may, so like when you have when you have um when you have parts that have a lot of space in them, you always need something 
that's kind of like that brings it around. So when you're not playing the big chord shapes and you're doing this thing that there's so much there's so much space in here, right? And the keys are just kind of like holding that floor and the bass is just doing these big round notes and and just the drums, you know, it's just it's just kind of hi-hat and kick just groove. If you don't have that release of a like a super confident snare shot in there, the cycle really doesn't repeat. Um, I'm I'm loving the restraint by everyone, and just the it, I'm telling you that single snare. You, you got you guys know how I am. That single snare is what makes this groove work. As soon as he hits it, you're like, oh, it's like on the back of your neck. You're like, oh yeah. <laughs> There's the groove, like 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 it immediately gets you. Little little things like that. That's what taste is. This is the hi-hat duration. That shimmer. Voice is great. She's gone. She's gone. Yeah. Great little bass song. In the sky with the sun shines. And my blue eyes crying in the moonlight. She's gone. She's gone. Bring it down. Bring it down. I say it all the time in these videos, right? All, the funk, like I'm telling you, the pulse, the, the sub internal subdivision, whatever you want to call it is most always readily apparent in the hi-hat, right? Because even though you might tss, you could be tss, right? And it's that shimmer, the length, the duration, right, of the contact, which gives you all, all, the, all the flow information, right? And the drummer's just doing it, it, it total control of it. And you can see everybody comes up and down with that hi-hat. Little things like this, I'm telling you. Okay, okay. I don't know how the solo is along this is gonna go, but I wanna I wanna point out some things. 
Um, okay, we're gonna go back. We're gonna go back a bunch. I know, I know. Grab your guitar. Grab your guitar. Um, this is storytelling. This, this is this is my kind of guitar playing. This is, this is, um, you know, you're taking your time with it. You're not, you're not, you're not just, you know, you're not just at the climax from the beginning. You know, you're you're getting somewhere. You're saying something. You're repeating things so that the audience, you know, it, it keeps coming back to something you remember. Uh, it's about tone. It's about touch. It's about listening and sensitivity. It's not about flash. Um, it, it, very lyrical. Very, um, like I'm following every piece of it. Let me let me let me give you some broad strokes of what's happening here. Okay, let's go back. Lot lots of cool things to talk about. This video is immediately going to become longer than I want it to be. So we're starting low. So again, their chord changes, F, G, A minor, C. So you can think in terms of, right? You, you, you can try to spell out each one of them, but really you're going to see him, you're going to see him spell out each one of these chords as it progresses, but we're starting very much in C. So you got this. So we're shooting right for that C, which of course is the minor third of A where, the, where it lands right here. Yeah. Now that little move right there, I, I just love that. It's a very, there's no major thirds in this jump. So we're landing right on that D there. Very cool. So even when you're in a minor tonality, you can, you're still thinking kind of like, when you don't have a minor third jump like in your move, you can still have that brightness, but you don't have to play at that full, right? right like you just did right, right there, right? Fifth, so, so E to A, love it. So really, playing in the A minor vibe now, right? Then, then, what did I just say before? See, this is what I mean about like uh, repeating motifs. They don't have to be the same notes or the same melodies. It's you come in with this little, let it sing. It, it's got that bluesy sound. But then right away, you got that half a whole step. Whole step again. No minor thirds in this groove in this move here, right? Immediately it brightens up. So there's this constant contrast between like that bluesy, sensitive, soulful thing, and that melodic thing, which kind of spelling out F major there. I love this. Keep going. Now look, so now watch his face here. He's, I I know I know when the guy's following the sound, not deviating from key yet. Okay, we are, we are straight C major all day. Okay, we're not we're not. I haven't really picked up on any outliers, right? But just watch him go down. He's 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 sticking with that motif. Like I'm bluesy sometimes and I'm super melodic sometimes. But he's got his eyes closed. Watch him go down and come back up. Watch his face. Watch his eyes. Right? That's him listening. But uh. mm -hmm. he's he's just, you know, he's just feeling it, right? And it goes up. Immediately a texture thing. As soon as the texture thing gets established, what happens? What happens? The drummer cracks him with that snare for the first time. Immediately you're into phase two. Tell him. Uh, 
I love this move so much. This I, 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 I love this so much. So this going from five. Oh, sorry, sorry. It's from six. So in the key of C, I'm thinking in terms. Of, I'm talking in terms of C right now. C. So you got this is your this is your six to your major seventh, bending up to your root, right? Two C major, half step bend, which of course is your minor third of A, which is where the band gets to, right? So it's that 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 whole thing. Right there, right there. Knew it was, knew it was coming. And then, yeah, that, that, that. And there was that A blues out of nowhere. I'm telling you, it's these little flirts. It's one of the perfect amounts of flirting of, uh, of, 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 are we playing melodies that are singable? And are we doing guitar centric, like blues licks? Like, like so tasteful. So what happens here? What happens here? The band opens up, the hi-hat opens up, the bass player starting to push on it, the floor of the keys start to come up, and he switches into this, into this, you know. He's switching into this A minor vibe. Like we're switching into blue zone. This little move here. From four, five, flat three, one. You gotta have that. You gotta have that in your lick bag. What a rake! You know. It's just A minor all day in here now. So now that though, that. See, this is an interesting thing here. What does he do right there? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, so we're still we're still hunting down A minor. We're still shooting for C's, right? Uh, but having this focus come in that doing this unison bend, shooting for D, right? Which of course is the fourth in the key of A minor. It's just really, it, it, I don't know. It's just bright, if you will. Like it, it's like optimistic. It's a great, it's a great thing to shoot for uh, now that we're like the sixth time through the progression, right? And so he's doing the same thing, just he's moving up. Moving up into pattern four, uh, this one, we all know for A minor, and still just focusing, making making the whole thing kind of a story about this D, you know, like up through it, land back on it, do a little metal steel thing, but it's still, there's no resolution, it's, we're, we're, we're really focusing on that suspension of the floor. Band knows it. Starting to move away from it. So here's your five, right? That's E. Starting to repeat five over again. Repeat it, repeat it, repeat it. The and now we're moving on. 
Abandon our flat seven into our one. So we're, we're, we're very, this is what I mean by telling a story. We're very purposefully choosing to be very four centric in our blues playing, right? And then we're choosing to work our way harmonically, we're advanced upwards, focusing on our fifth. And then we're teased, we got our licks, right, right? You hit it a couple times, you follow the sound, but we're flat sevening, but now we're bending through it and we're firmly established at our one now. So we're, 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 we're moving down the path in a systematic way, right? One, one chord, one scale tone at a time, if you will, with, but connecting it all. And it's not surprising, he hangs there. Knew that nine was coming, that B, because he did it before down here. Again, we're starting to connect that melodic sensibility again, not just going, which would be, right, completely the minor pentatonic, that C, but. And then again, it just keeps going. Starts adding that minor third. So we're establishing that. And now we're pushing up into the four again. Where did we start? Four. Said something about that. Five. Flat seven. One. Nine. Flat three. Four. Ladies and gentlemen, this is on purpose. We're using your ear. It's simple. The audience can the audience can stick with it. It's clear that we're going up a mountain right now. And the band is with them. This is simple, but hard to do well. But he's crushing it. Going down now. So he reached the top of the mountain and then started to go down. Now we're back in this zone. The band is great too. Don't fire your band. <laughs> Where was I when the girl tried to tell me that her heart was running on empty? Where was I? Where was I? Where was I? Cause the key sound. There's that snare. That bass player, he loves it. Tell me where is the mercy? Gotta love bass players, man. Who will say my soul? Hey, minor. Thank you so much. Yeah, dude. Okay, Quinn, you sound great. Um, Key takeaways here for me. Who gave me this? Timothy Johnson. Timothy, thanks for being a subscriber, taking my lessons and courses, and uh, posting this. Um, key takeaways for me. Uh, dude's a storyteller. His voice on his guitar is very similar to his actual voice. Um, it is smooth. It is clean. It is purposeful. It's polished. It's professional. Um, it's uh, it's it's um, knows exactly what he wants to say. Uh, his lead playing. Is the, is again? It's like this is always the mix. It, it, people's personality are always the mix between like guitar centric stuff and melodic stuff that any instrument could play. And some people do more or less of the other, and that kind of is a huge part of their personality besides their actual touch, right? And that's the sound, the touch. And his mix is like right where I like it, man. You know, because it stays so like a guitar player. You know, like you're 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 clearly, you know, a guitar player at heart, but those little melodic jumps where you add in, like, in, in a minor tonality, you add in those one, two, threes, those, you know, with two whole steps, like a voice would, man, it just makes it. It just brightens it up, and it just makes it. Um, taste for days, and Quinn, I'm going to be following you. I'm going to be rooting for you. Probably going to link you up in the comments, if I remember, or in the description. 
That's it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for liking. Please subscribe. Ring the bell if you feel like getting notified, um, if YouTube still does that. But I know it helps. Um, and if you want to be like Timothy, you want to pick some of the stuff that we should do next on this channel, uh, you're looking for a community to help keep this thing in your hands a little more and a path to follow, hit the first link in the description. It's called Guitargate. It's uh, how I make this all possible. And uh, I'd love to see you on there and be one of your online teachers. That's it. Have a great day, ladies and gentlemen. Cheers.